Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I am in uh, People Republic of Pakse. Uh, sorry, People <laughs> Republic of Laos, uh, near Pakse, the southern part of Laos. Uh, in Pak Song, here is the twin waterfall. Uh, this is wilderness in its raw nature. This is how God created. God is the wilderness incarnate. So are humans, all the 7 billion people are wilderness incarnate. So we are part of this wilderness and wilderness is part of us. Look at that. You can see this great waterfall, but you can't go and own it. It is far away and it's, uh, it's in the uh, uh, inhospitable location and uh, it demands some respect. It uh, poses barriers. The wilderness is beautiful. We are part of the wilderness and at the same time, sometimes it intimidates. And also sometimes it's very hard to grasp because wilderness overloads our senses. Yeah, that is true. There's a waterfall, there is a, a deep canyon, gorge, forest. That is a, a information overload and uh, we lose our senses and we can't grasp and we are shocked and we are just expressing awe and wonder. <laughs> that is what wilderness does. When you look at the wilderness in its raw state, you express awe and wonder. That is what St. Thomas Aquinas says. When you watch cosmos, universe, you simply express and you are spellbound and you can't talk about it. In fact, I'm trying to talk because there is no vocabulary or uh, verbiage to uh, explain what I am experiencing right now. So we fall into silence. <laughs> so people go silent because there are no words to express what you are experiencing in front of eyes in the wilderness. So wilderness is beautiful. Garden of Eden, according to the book of Genesis, it was wilderness. The Garden of Eden is nothing but a wilderness in a raw state. So there were three beautiful relationships. God's relationship, human with fellow human, and the rest of creation. This is integral uh, ecology. That is what Pope Francis is uh, talking about in the fourth chapter of Lao Tzu Sea. So that is the wilderness. Wilderness experience is always you experience God, you experience fellow humans, you experience creation also. They are all part of us. It's in perfect union. And uh, you know what? Any separatedness is an illusion. It's a delusion. There is no separatedness. Look at me. The camera films. I'm part of creation. And God is part of, is within me. And everything is integral. There is no uh, Cartesian dualism. Rene Descartes, he pitted the human body with the soul. He told soul is different and body is different, matter is different, energy is different. So that is called Cartesian dualism. For the past 400 years, he came in the 17th, 18th century. And from that time onwards, Europe, I mean, went into the grip of division, separatedness, pitting nature, God and humans against each other. According to Cartesian dualism, God is out there in the heaven. Humans are here with other humans and creation is outside of humans. So that is not right. I think we became victims of Cartesian dualism for the past how many years? 400 years. So I think now the new paradigm is evolving and uh, Pope Francis is talking about it. Actually, 800 years back, Francis of Assisi talked about integral ecology. We are not separate. And it is a web of life. It is, we are one. Everything is connected. That is a theme. Everything is connected. So, but unfortunately, we didn't listen to it. And Francis was, after 800 years, Pope Francis is taking the subject again. And re, he is reiterating the whole uh, teachings of St. Francis of Assisi in the Laudato Si. Pope Francis' encyclical on ecology and the environment. So I think this wilderness is great and we need to return to wilderness. And in fact, we have destroyed 
75% of the wilderness of Garden of Eden. So that's a sin. That's what Bible calls sin, destroying our relationship with God and relationship with fellow humans and relationship with creation. That is a big sin. That is a rupture between all relationships. So now we need to do some uh, universal reconciliation. That is what uh, St. Francis of Assisi 18 days back, he asked forgiveness and he has taken humans and creation back to God and he wants to glue them together. He wants to repair the rift, the rupture we have caused in the Garden of Eden. I think Francis is doing the same thing and I think will we succeed? Yay! We will succeed. We are not that bad uh, human species so as a homo sapiens. Sapiens, I think we have drifted from our path and we have taken a, a disaster uh, filled trajectory. And, uh, but we have got Imago Dei, the image of God. Of course, that's a beautiful dimension, spiritual dimension of each and every one of us. They are integral, body, spirit, integral. So that is what we need to understand. Don't throw away Cartesian dualism and come back to integral ecology. God, humans and creation. We are all together. That is wilderness. So again, I am in the um, People Republic of Laos uh, in Paxi, southern part of uh, Laos. Uh, the capital, capital is in the north, Vientiane. So it's about 800 kilometers from here to Vientiane. So we are uh, uh, in the border of Thailand and Cambodia. So uh, uh, in a place called Pak Song. And uh, this is a waterfall. Uh, just I encountered and I am filming and this wilderness says hello and uh, the wilderness screams out loud hey you're part of me and we are all together so if you have a chance take Psalm number 104 in the Bible and try to read it and you can pray and you can experience uh, uh, your own journey in a wilderness that is that is a virtual reality actually Psalm 104 it transports you to the, like a time travel, like a time travel. <laughs> it takes you to the wilderness and you will become part of it and God is there with you in front of you. And it's lovely, lovely psalm. And please read that psalm. And I think you can really now understand uh, what Pope Francis is talking about in Laudatusi. And thank you. Again, I'm in Paxi. In Laos, God bless, have a nice day.